Now that we've covered some of the essentials of what shells are and what shell scripting is, we're going to do a very simple example of a basic script which will execute a for loop. Now let's go over the basics of a for loop because you will be using this very often if you use a software package like AFNI. The idea is that you can execute a script and you can loop it over a number of subjects. So in other words, to put it simply, you can just hit the enter button once you have your script and your for loop ready and then walk away, come back and it will be done. <clears throat> but to get there, first we should cover some of the basics. So. Right now I'm using the T shell, and this is also what AFNI will use when it generates the scripts from the Uber scripts. So, in other words, if I want to do a for loop, it has a slightly different syntax from, say, the bash shell. The syntax for a for loop in the T shell is for each, that's one word, the name of a variable, which will be looped over, and then in parentheses, a, an array or a string of values. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, and I have a space between all of those. I close it off with another parenthesis, and then I hit return. And then I get this prompt that says for each question mark. So what do I want to do within this loop? So in other words, what it's going to do first is it's going to assign the value of one to x. So when I'm in this iteration of the loop, I can have x take on the value of 1 and I can do several different things with it. Let's keep it very simple. Use the echo command that we talked about in an earlier tutorial and just say echo dollar sign x. So return to the screen the value of x. Hit return again and then it asks me is there anything else, any other steps I'd like to execute and since all that, that's all I want to do I can just type end to close the for loop and then hit return. So you can see immediately it's looped over all of these different values right here. It's assigned them to x for each loop and then for it within each loop it executes the command echo dollar sign x and so I get a return of the values of x for each loop which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, so that is a very basic example of a for loop and so now let's cover shell scripting. A, a script, when we create our own shell script, as we saw in the AFNI example in the last tutorial, is a series of commands that will be executed within a, a text file or a script. So for example, if instead of typing everything step by step from the command line, so for example, let's say I wanted to say uh, this is a for loop, and I wanted to have that return, and then I wanted to say, let's do the for loop here. Just typing in what I had before. I could do that, and it would be fine, but it would be easier to have that all written down within a script that I could modify if I needed to, and also be able to execute any time I needed to. So I already have one set up. It's called testscript.sh. By the way, I'm using the VI editor. It's pretty old school. You can use gedit or any other text editor. It doesn't matter. In this case, again, we have our shebang. That means use the t-shell syntax to execute the script. And I just have a very simple script. It's a series of lines that says return just a blank line, then say, hello, this is a script, then say, we will now run a for loop. X will return 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Just return another blank line to break it up and then execute the for loop. Okay, so all I've done is I've taken, I've taken essentially what I've written in the command line, I've just put it into a simple text file, and then I've saved it as testscript.sh. This is just a convention, this extension tells you that it is a shell script. Now to execute it, I can just type dot and then a backslash and the name of the script. Uh, first, what you should do, though, is type in chmod, if you've just created your script, plus x, which means give it the execute capability, and then the name of your script. Otherwise, it will not run if you try to execute it using the shell command dot backslash. So, I type in dot backslash, the name of my script, hit return, and you can see that it executes just fine. 
Now, another convention, which we'll see, does the same thing. It just calls upon the T-shell, and I just type in TCSH, because that is shorthand for saying the T-shell, and then the name of my script. Now, if I wanted to execute it in bash convention and override the shebang, I could type bash test script, but it would give me an error because the syntax for a for loop in bash is different than in the T-shell. So, this is a very, very fundamental basic introduction into for loops and shell scripting. And I hope it gives you enough to run off of, and especially when you look into more depth and more complex scripts, especially the ones that are automatically generated by AFNI, you'll have more of an understanding of what's going on.